Uh, I'm Tom Woodward, part of the Alt Lab team, and I'm working with the OLA group. And in an effort to show you that I am both human and real, to tell you a little bit about myself, uh, I figured I'd introduce myself through the tools we're asking you to use. So one, this is uh, one of my. This was my first WordPress blog. Uh, this particular capture is from 2005. It's in the Internet Archives Wayback Machine, uh, which has been kind enough just to save random stuff that I would have lost anyway. Um, so I can go back here, peer into my thoughts and uh, beliefs back in 2005. And then I have uh, what's now my current site, um, which goes back to 2006, right? And so you can see my posting and publishing patterns over the last uh, number of years. Uh, and I haven't always been really prolific, but it's something that's been important to me. It's kept going. It's done good stuff for me. It's connected me to a lot of amazing people including Dean Chereski, who took one of the videos I put up there uh, back in the day. Um, and it is now on YouTube under his account, which is funny. Uh, he has permission, but it has almost a million views, 953,201 views. So that's kind of crazy in all sorts of ways. One, it was just a knockoff video that I did with a baby asleep in my lap. And then two, it's about educational change and technology, and it's kind of embarrassingly simple now. Uh, both my ideas and hopefully my video editing skills have changed since then, but it's pretty amazing that I could put out a piece of content that gets that kind of traction over time and space. Uh, all a benefit of being networked and open. Uh, this too is my Twitter archive, so you can see I've been using Twitter since 07 with various degrees of productivity, maybe. Uh, at least uh, varying degrees of tweeting per day. Uh, sometimes as few as one. Uh, or less than one tweet a day. So not a huge investment always. Sometimes a lot more. Uh, more interesting, recently I've been playing with it quite a bit more, expanding things. But it's been useful, it's been good, once again, connecting me to interesting people, allowing really cool stuff to happen. Uh, Digo2 has been in my uh, toolbox for a number of years. I have nearly 12,300 bookmarks in there which is a little bit extreme, so I'm not encouraging that, but it's an amazing way to keep your stuff organized, to share it, to do more with it. And I've committed with it, I've committed to it uh, pretty clearly here over time and space. DS106 is another thing that's really shaped uh, my understanding of open network connected learning. Uh, I've been doing stuff with them for any number of years in a variety of different roles, and uh, it's just been... Um, really, really beneficial in any number of ways, personally and professionally. Uh, we don't ask you to do this, but I also put up my pictures on Flickr and some really cool things have happened uh, because of that. These are a couple uh, that I've taken recently that I've really liked and have been fairly popular. Um, and this one has, oddly enough, the most interesting story behind it. Took a picture of a parrot out in Goochland. Um, it ended up getting in Wikipedia because I put it up under a Creative Commons license. Uh, gets tagged with the scientific name, and then later I get contacted by the National Science, uh, no, the Museum of Natural History in France, who asked to use this picture in an exhibit over there, which was uh, pretty amazing. All enabled, impossible, because of uh, open network connected learning. So hopefully you'll see similar benefits sooner rather than later, but I have faith that if you engage in this stuff, good things will happen.